that still allowed Greyhound Racing and have active tracks are Alabama, Arkansas, Iowa, Texas, West Virginia. What a shocking array of states that what that is still legal in. Array. Um, we, we were hi, welcome to Someplace Underneath. I'm Amber Nelson. Natalie Jean. We were discussing greyhound racing, um, and I said I heard that when a greyhound catches the bunny, the fake bunny, that they shoot it in the head because now it's going to tell the other dogs that the bunny isn't real. And Where'd you get that information? At a bar. Mm -hmm. Someone, a nice man, told me at a bar, have not fact check it. So let us know in the group chat if they do shoot the greyhound in the head if they catch the Ugh, bunny. Horrible. Greyhounds are so awesome. I lived with three Italian greyhounds one of my um, past roommates had, and I was obsessed with them. They're the tiny ones. They're Aww. the little tiny greyhounds. <laughs> They're so cute. They're very fragile. Their legs snap all the time, which I think is actually when they get shot in those horrible mm. dog races, because they I don't think that they can be used anymore. Greyhounds Isn't that the cool. Simpsons plot line of how they got their dog? That is? I think nice. so. Love it. Greyhounds seem like they come from the mist in Scotland or something. Oh, like, yeah. They look like goblin creatures. Yeah, they just appear. Like Definitely a, a joke. Well, East Lanet says it's a joke. Well, you know, sometimes I believe everything people said. There's also... <laughs> to tell her anything. She'll believe you. <laughs> just tell her anything you want. How about bees? Good morning from Australia. Whoa, it's morning over there. Upside down. Oh, do your toilets flush upside down? Yeah, they flush from the ceiling. Right. Yep. <laughs> oh, that's the state bird of um, Australia. It's a spider in the toilet. Oh, so scary. <gasps> Those spiders, I don't know. I Like you were just saying, you learned a lot about snakes and you love them. Like I love spiders. I actually do. I'm kind really? of obsessed with them. But I am terrified to the bone of them. Like natural reaction? Like I actually <laughs> cannot... Uh, deal with them being close to me. Is it the legs? It's the fact that they have multiple legs, they move like ways I love. Like I love acting and moving like a, like a spider, like doing creature stuff like a spider, but they're terrifying and they fucking float in the air. Like what? It can get in your face and your hair. Whoa. They can they can literally I mean I'm talking about with webs, but they some can literally fly in the sky and swim. Whoa, they sound like a fucking gnarly, like they'd be on that, what's that movie where they all go surfing? Point Break. Oh, Point Break. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the spider right. version? I would watch that for that sure. Spider Point Break. Um, Alchemist Doll 88, it's not legal, but there's still chicken fighting around here. Here, They still get huge, that's so fucking, why do you need to watch chickens peck each other? Yeah, I don't know. What is what? What are you missing in your life that you need that? I'd rather just eat them. Someone <laughs> says you have spider well, energy. How about bees? That's a compliment. I love spider energy. Spiders. Someone told me again at a bar that spiders represent mother throughout all cultures. Okay. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I won't check. Uh, have either of you watched Quiet on the Set about Dan Schneider, El Condor, Pasta sixty nine? I have not yet Henry and I have looked at it multiple times and it's sort of again let me bring up some more snakes that scene in Pee Wee when he's uh, Pee Wee's Big Adventure whenever he's um, trying to get all the pets out of the pet store and it's fire and he keeps looking at the snakes and he just keeps leaving and going back I I, I, I read a lot of stuff about child molesting <laughs> so sometimes at night I need a break right you for know? someone that's not a child molester you sure do read a lot about it Right. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. To, I don't know how to put a button on that. We just trying to protect the, the kids, you know, because I was living in a la la land, and then Natalie was like, "You want to do this show called Someplace Underneath? It's about missing women and children." And I was like, "It's 2022. We're all found." And then we start doing more research, and I was like, "Holy shit! It's really bad." Yeah. And the challenging aspect of that is so much of the discussion, and I think one of the reasons I, I like doing this show is that the discussions online are so muddled with fake stories of child trafficking uh, in order to hate on certain people or whatever that the actual victims kind of get lost in the fold of really horrible things that are happening combined with like you know making stories up about people you don't like right so when you com like combine fake and real news it's like what's real anymore so yeah. you don't trust anything but you can Any trust us yep Listen to all the facts we've already told That's you. That's right. Spiders are mother. And um, Greyhounds got loose lips. <laughs> and they right. got to go. 
They found Kate Middleton? I don't think those pictures are real of her, to be honest. I think it's a fake actress or something. I, I don't think she's actually, I don't think there's a widespread, I don't think there's some dark secret. I think it's probably something embarrassing. Like she had to like get something put up her butt or something, you know. That's I got something guess. put up my bum. Up me bum. Atlas spun air bud, but it's just a tiny spider blank basketball. I love all of this. And all the other players get scared, so they don't want to touch it. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I would do stunts in that movie and be I would be very real acting, uh, terrified of the spider. Oh, it's like, you did stunts in air bud? Natalie. <laughs> yeah, as a little girl. <laughs> I played the dog. I write. So we got some stories to talk about. Mm. And, um, yep. Some, I just said, I have yep. to put, we're talking about this guy later, but look at this picture, Amber. Which of these guys do you think you would go on a date with? We have to tell, we'll show the audience later. Probably the guy with the hat that's turned around. The towel? With the towel around He looks around like his he's neck. having a fun time. Yeah, he looks like he eats baked ziti with his hands. I can get into that. Yeah. Um, also, I was going to say, guys, I'm doing this on the air right now. Uh, here's my Twitter account. <gasps> Delete. No! What, what's it won't on? let me deactivate with my fucking password. It All wouldn't right. let me deactivate mine. I, was, I tried to do it on the bus the other day. Elon. This Elon. little shithead. Let's see. It was incorrect. All right. Well. No, I swear to God, my password was correct. Well, it wouldn't let me delete. They know what's going on. You fucks. All right. Now I'm determined. You have to talk. To entertain. Talk. Talk. A hail, a hail piece of shit. Yes, not me though. I had beans for lunch, and I my tummy keeps bubbling, so I'm just like waiting to take a honk and do. I also had Taco Bell that was 24 hours old last night for dinner. I have not been treating my body that great these past couple days, but don't you worry. I'm going to the gym. I'm going to get a meal plan. I'm going to be svelte. I'm going to see Fuck. my mom. I'm going to lose five pounds. I wonder. Are you? No way. It he, won't let he you delete it. Whoa, something says fucking conspiracy because it did the same to me. And then I was like, I guess I'll stay on it. Mm -mm, I'm not doing it. I'm doing it. It's getting off before the end of this. Okay, okay, okay. I, oh, no. There's a <laughs> piece of news. I, I, we said don't, no. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, I, I keep going. saying it's so bad. <laughs> keep going. But I don't have any backup information on it and people said don't talk about it and I can't are you talking about the calf the calf <laughs> the red heifer has anybody heard of this I heard it on these crazy sites of like these religious people that if you sacrifice a red heifer that it's going to bring apart the, the antichrist and they said don't talk about it on the show Amber and this is exactly what made me go <laughs> I'm deleting this account because this is where you got that information and every person I was like Tom Tutu 69 says don't sacrifice the red heifer and then they have these like platforms you can look it up they're going to go sacrifice it but we don't know if it's <gasps> it won't let you do it are they saying that I have to get two factor authentication to get my account deactivated are Elon you fucking kidding me take a rocket ship right to your asshole oh no. well this just ensured that I'm deleting this without hesitation okay I can't do it on the show I'm gonna do it maybe if you get into a, a story I'll go back over to this the red heifer. what the fuck dude are you serious <laughs> Yeah, what a piece of, well, he's just, I hate that we share the same Zodiac, um, which, whatever, but, you know, uh, Cancers. Cancers? What's That's his right. birthday? Oh, the weed, li the weed Wife, thank you so much for subscribing for 37 months. Um, his birthday is in July okay. somewhere. Get the two-factor authentication. <sighs> this is like watching chess being played. <laughs> We're going to delete this fucking site. Okay? You know, there's so many people I look at every day that are just zealots and awful. And I look at their information and I take it as truth and fact. And you know what? I think that you, I think, you know, not everybody should say everything, right? But then I say things and then I talk. But sometimes, <laughs> you know, Tom2269, it says, like, repeal the 19th. And I think that he should get a sick kick in the nuts from a woman. Okay, let's see if it works. Are you getting Hang it out on. of here? Let me see if it works this time. Thank you, Miranda. A hype train's close. Delete it for the hype train. It still says it's in Oh my God, I just reset it and it's saying it's incorrect. Can you just like take it off your screen? It's like delete it or is it, you still have a account? I can't believe they won't let you delete it. They're doing you this on purpose. little fucking scamp. Oh, I'm getting rid of this fucking thing. Oh. 
Oh my god. Oh, I just changed it and said it was incorrect. They won't let you get rid of it? Oh, I'm getting rid of He's it. Like and you know what? He's like a bully at lunch that like demands you for your lunch money. I'm if I can't get it done on the stream, I'm going to do it and I'm going to expl explain exactly how to do it next time we're on the Maybe stream. Maybe you need to do it for computer. I refuse. Um, I might later. Throw the phone. I'm going to do it today. Sean Satelli says, throw the phone. Ah! <laughs> he throw it at the computer <laughs> screen. Just destroy all of our equipment. <laughs> Easy <laughs> underscore target. I'm English, and, and as we all know, that means I, like other English people, and close personal friends, of course. So what do you know about them? Can confirm is because she had to have something up her butt. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you for confirming as an English person as you I, all yeah. hang out together. I've got a little English man at my butt. That's when I fart. It goes, hoo-choo. It goes, hoo-choo? Oh, no. Okay. It's <sighs> hot. It's so hot in here. All right. So what's um, this? this let's, talk about, let's talk about some stuff. I First one I wanted to bring up is... Just a sort of, I've never discussed this case. It's not directly a missing person, but it's very peculiar, and I wondered if anybody else had seen this story. It is about in a college student in Kentucky. Her name is Isabella Willingham. If you want to pop that uh, website up there. So if you scroll down on that, um, on that page, there's some pictures of the actual injuries that she has. Has anybody heard this story? They said she fell off the bunk bed. But so, first of all, there's a guardrail in the bunk bed. And second of all, that's not falling off the bunk bed. If you go down one more, her hand, too, is all swollen. So I have basically what happened, according to the young woman's story, um, and I'm not saying she's making it up, but she, well, she was found unresponsive. Other people saw her. She was unresponsive on the ground of her dorm room and had, I guess, had, was sleeping on the top bunk normally so the theory was being spread by the school that she fell out of the top bunk and that's how she received those injuries um obviously looking at those injuries her family and her are both saying obviously that's not what happened something else happened and there's no evidence. The, the, the school is saying they don't have any evidence of what happened, that there's no proof of anything, and that the, the only excuse could be that she fell out of her bunk. As a drunk college student who did live on a top bunk, you if you fall out of your bunk, I, I don't think that that's what happens. No. I mean, how would, you, how would all of those injuries all over the body occur in that way? It looks like she was beaten. It looks like she's beaten with knives. Like, what if she fall out into a bed of knives? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Like, her nails were ripped off. Like, uh, like her acrylics, I should say. Not her fingernails, but her acrylics got ripped off, which hurts. Um, and it's a, it's a curious situation just based on how are there no cameras? Because it's a religious school, yeah, right? Yeah, so it's... it's Private it's, religious school. Yeah, it's a Christian... Uh, I believe it's a Christian college in Kentucky. It's one of those ones that's, like, segregated by sex. And, like, they have curfews and stuff like that. And apparently there aren't surveillance cameras in the hallways, I guess, outside of the rooms. This seems like something that shouldn't be, at, like, this giant mystery. But... Because there's other girls around, and they can be like, yeah, Tiffany did it. Also, something. if you fall out of your bunk, why would you stop breathing for 23 minutes? Or did she have an episode, some sort of medical episode, stop breathing in her bunk, fell out somehow tumbled down the side of a mountain and then onto the floor of her dorm room. And then get her nails ripped out on the way. That seems strange. Does anyone? Yeah. Okay. So I don't really play video games. Hazing question mark. Could it be something like that? And if it is something like that, wouldn't there be footage somewhere of people leaving her room? It would be really unlikely that it was a guy because they care about that in a school like that. It's really difficult a lot of times to get like a guy or a girl on your the floor of your dorm. I had a friend who went to a college like that and it was a huge pain in the ass. You couldn't really just like walk onto like a girl's floor if you were a guy and vice versa. Um, so what 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 happened here? Other girls would have heard her screaming. I mean, you can't just endure this and then just be sitting there silently. Yeah, so she was rushed to the hospital on November 27th, and she was in intensive care. And she was just in, from what I can find, just in a normal bunk bed. I don't think it was like a five-story bunk bed that she fell out of or anything like that. 
Um, and she says she woke up in the hospital and she has no memory of what happened. <gasps> And that she, uh, my other thing, what else I could say is, is she, did she break school rules, get hurt, hammered or something like that, and is trying to hide that? Oh, because it's like the short term, my parents are going to be so mad at me if they find out what happened. Well, if it's a place like BYU, I don't know the exact practices of this college, but if it's a place like BYU that has like an honor code office, you can be kicked out of school for drinking. Or kissing somebody or, you know, doing, breaking, like, very arbitrary nonsense rules. Right. Um, uh, somebody, uh, Hillary Satan, great name, says uh, acrylic nails ripped off but could be her trying to defend herself. Maybe. Yeah, but she's claiming that she doesn't have any memory of being attacked, which is Maybe it was really just, weird. Sometimes when things are so traumatic, your brain has to be like, we're going to get healthy first, and then we're going to remember, okay? For sure. It, this was in November, so it's been a couple months, and she's been speaking out about it, saying that the college is not being maybe truthful, or they know something more, but she doesn't know, she claims that she doesn't know anything, that she was, I don't know if she said she fell asleep and then woke up in the hospital or what, but it doesn't say anything about her having alcohol in her system. Um, it's so weird. Like, what? what is that? What happened? Exorcism? I don't know, man. It's a private Christian school. Well, maybe we'll have more, um, more details as the story unfolds. But this is such a small private school. I mean, I even typed it into Google, and it was not showing up. I had to type in girl bruises and not just the university. So Yeah, it's tight. It's got 1,900 students. Here it is. Asbury University. I probably should have connected my laptop to the today, but whatever. Um, spiritual, ooh, academic excellence and spiritual vitality. Oh, so yeah, the front page is a bunch of people kneeling on the ground, praying. Do you think it was like a headmaster that did something and this college is trying to cover it up? Heck, maybe. I don't, I don't think every private conservative college is hiding a bunch of secrets, but we do know that some I of do. them do. Um, and I always feel a little suspect about schools that make their kids do really strict rules like that. Um, it's just, okay, I'm just gonna keep uh, looking at it over the next couple months, but that was just like something that really struck me about that story and um, how that could possibly be the case that they have no idea what happened. They had to, they have to know, and they're covering it up. It, it's hopefully only a matter of time before we get, hopefully she gets closure and she's safe. <laughs> And happy in the future? Yeah, because I'm also kind of more on her side in the sense that she's talking about it a lot. Like, she's going out and talking to news stations and, like, trying to get attention to it. And the school is shutting it down constantly. They're like, wow. no, we're not talking. We don't know what's going on. It didn't happen. Um, so something's, something's funky That's in there. That sounds like something with a school, man. Well, let's go to the next news story. All right. Well, let's see. We got, okay. This is a briefer return to Madeline Soto story. Uh, we talked about that at length last week because I'm just I'm following it really closely. It's not the only, unfortunately, not the only little girl who went missing who was then found to have been being serially abused by a man in the house and then winds up dead in the last month. Um, there's a couple. There's a hype train. I'm sorry. There's a hype train <laughs> Every coming. time, you I'm guys. Sorry. Every time we get to the worst story, but that's okay. I guess I shouldn't be mad about it. Tez Eskerbet, thank you for subscribing to Tier One. Um, so I don't know if you guys have followed all the Madeline Soto story. There's another little girl also whose name is Audrey Cunningham. Uh, it's a very similar story that there was a guy uh, brought in by the parent into the house who was given access to the little girl was abusing the little girl and then she disappeared and then she ended up dead and it was because of the person in the house. So, well, okay, I should say allegedly because um, so far, Stefan, Stefan, people keep calling him Stefan and all I can see is Stefan or Kel and oh, it's definitely right. not. <laughs> I used to have such a crush on him. Remember when he was revealed and the whole audience was like, woo? When he became Stefan? Right. You had a crush on him? Yeah, I did. I remember But not I Steven? No, my girlfriend at the time, I remember she fell out of bed screaming just how much she was like, I love Stefano Kale. Whoa. Well, 
But that's not this guy, though. No, it's definitely not uh, that gentleman. So the guy who in uh, in question, who's currently in jail, he got arrested on 66 zero counts of CSAM on his phone. What? 60. And they haven't released, obviously, all the details, and they probably never will, hopefully, but it is believed that a lot of it was actual footage of this child who they found dead. It was, it's a absolutely disgusting, horrible story. Um, there's a lot of speculation about what the mother knew, uh, if she was either ignoring it or um, participating. Uh, he, he's called what uh, some law professionals call a, mother's, or a parent's paramour, a mother's paramour. So instead of it being somebody who really brings a fatherly figure into the household, it's like mom's boyfriend lives here, not this is a family, even though she's kind of acting like it's been like that, it definitely was much more of a like, this is a benefit to me, not necessarily to my daughter's situation. Right, because she, as long as you have a man, that's all that matters. God e forbid you're single. Even if it's this guy? <laughs> so that Actually, story is close though, 82%. <laughs> we only have two minutes and 30 seconds if you want to donate. I know it's a really horrible story to have a hype train to. Well, here, we'll talk hilarious Satan. Hillary Satan. Yeah, thank Hillary you for getting Satan. A, a sub one, tier one. Remember at the end of Family Matters when Steve cloned himself and he turned one of those clones into Stefan so they could coexist? Not really, but I do remember Laura finally falling in love with him, which is gaslighting because he's been after her for years and she was constantly like, get away from me, I don't like you. And then he just made a science experiment and, um, yeah, but I guess. But to be honest, this got any cheese bullshit? No, get out of my house. <laughs> get out of my house, you stinky man. Is it because you don't like cheese that much, or just like he's stealing? He can't provide his own food. He's just always whining and stealing. And like, what does he ever give? Nothing. He gives Nothing. them. Um, he gives them hope <laughs> and advice. I didn't want you to bring some cheese next time, Stefan. Mabel, maybe Stefan would have brought the cheese maybe. to her. He'd be a provider. One minute, 25 seconds, so 82% hype train. Keep him coming. Steve Urkel, uh, Jaleel White, he's not acting anymore, I don't think. I hope he has a boat, and I hope he just enjoys his life. Yeah, I hope he's fine. He's not, I think he's fine. I don't think he did crimes or anything. Good for him. Yeah. Our friend, um, who used to work with My Favorite Murder is now doing a show with two of the sisters from Step by Step, which is pretty fun, where they're going through all the episodes. I love that. Oh, hi, Anarcho. Oh, Jaleel White can get it, huh? All right, X-Bike. I'll let him know. <laughs> Let's get him on the show. Let's get him Let's on the get show. Let's get Jaleel on the show. He might be out here. He recently came out with a weed line called Purple Urkel. Nice. Wow. Lean into that nostalgia. We are the target audience. People, we'll buy the shit. I'll buy it. Do it. Uh, yeah. How close are we? Can I go back to this horrible yeah, story? Yeah, we have 35 seconds. So, mm -hmm. Hype Train, thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's start with this oh, part. 100% Hype Train's here. Oh, yay. God. Oh, yay. Hype Train, level one complete. This is going to be so weird for people listening. If you're listening, please tune in to the YouTube show um, where you get to see us. There is a Hype Train. <laughs> And you can donate it. I'm not just talking out of my ass with um, dead, missing children and no, saying, we're not, hype we're train. Not. We are monsters. We're bad people. No, but, this uh, is all for, for Twitch, and we're trying to put it all across a lot of different platforms. The, let, I'm going to go into this next because I, this is just roasting this man because he is um, pathetic in every way. Do you want to pull up his first? So this, the, this first uh, little sheet here. No, uh, sorry, can you go to that one? There we go. Uh, so that's the guy. That's old, that's old Stefan there. Stefan, Stefan, Stefan. And this is his Reddit persona? So in the, uh, in the aftermath of all the stuff that's gone on and now the, the charges are coming forward, the police found all this stuff on his phone, even though he, he, ac he accidentally factory set it the morning that she went missing. Isn't Whoa. that weird? Don't we just accidentally factory set our phones all yeah. the time? Yeah. Well, guess what? You you can't do that and still, like, the stuff's still there. So, sorry, buddy. He looks like he whines. He's like, I just want a woman to do 50-50 and then just, like, complains the whole date and makes you your therapist. Well, he definitely didn't do a lot of working 
uh, that's for sure. Of course. According to all of the stuff that's come out. But so he this is, is why you need to make these men have jobs. We need to bring back coal mining so we can put these horrible men into the caves. No, coal mining is hard. Well, and they don't have time to molest children. Dig the coal. Creep. That guy would never he would, could never be a coal miner. He'd be like, ah. Oh. Well, then he dies down there. Then he dies down okay. there. Okay, all right. Well, so let's let's try. Let's give it a shot. Maybe that's what he'll. Uh, we can have him do that instead of. Uh, he's not coming out of jail. We'll say that. That's good. Uh, there's no way. Already, just with the, the charges that he's received, without having the murder charges, which I do think will occur. Right. It's 60, 60 counts of that, uh, and it's, it's also lewd, lascivious, 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 lewd, lascivious. Mm -hmm. uh, some of those charges, which is in relation to being the caregiver of a person and committing those things. So it's like extra bad. Extra, extra bad jail. The horrible men yearn for the mines. Yes, the thank you, Arthur Kennedy. The horrible do yearn for the mines. Yeah, yeah. they do. Uh, so a what's come out is, of course, when this happens, when there's somebody like this, everybody digs into everything on all their social medias. They're trying to find information about him. And he, it turns out he's a prolific Redditor. Ew. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> well, I bet he comes boogers. I mean, you nasty man. You he, prolific redditor. I don't know if you remember from last week, but according to somebody who has come forward at claiming to be one of his old friends, he did used to keep jars of his own cum in his bedroom. So I want to drink it. Yeah, I think he is might that, have. Is that how Spider Man happens? He just drinks this man's cum, and now he can like swing. Well, he maybe he should have tried to drink it because he's not he's pretty far from a Spider-Man, but he does like to collect them and talk about them. Um, no offense to anybody. If Mike Lawrence is out there, I love you. Uh, not always. Not all. Pe not all people collect figurines. Okay. <laughs> um, but Steph in here, uh, can you pull that same one back up again? If you see that little Avi there, it's basically saying that he's epic on Reddit because of if you look below that, his his account is called Sustenant. The post karma and the common karma is in the tens of thousands because if you go into his account, it's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of posts, a lot of them being in Tamagotchi uh, fan, uh, what are they called? Not accounts. What are these things called? Threads? Mm -hmm. What are Subreddit. the subreddits. subreddits? Thank you. Subreddit. There's also um, a lot of Disney stuff because he worked there for a while. Um, there is a lot, he he writes on a lot of, he gets into a lot of political fights on Reddit. Uh, he de he describes himself as a centrist, which is essentially saying I'm a libertarian. He's right wing, yeah. Um, he gets into fights with people on Am I the Asshole? He gets into fights with people on Mildly Infuriating Anything a Anything but getting a job. God help him to work at McDonald's. Please, those hands belong in the fry machine. There's some really interesting stuff coming out about his background because, you know, I, I find all that fascinating. So finding out about, like, you know, where the family... We'll get into, into that in a little bit. But so he's doing all that. And then people are picking out little comments that he's made over the years that are a little sus. Um, sustenet, I should say. And uh, so I just pulled a couple of those to uh, show you guys th that first Hype one. Hype train success! <laughs> it's our third hype train! Now let's Yay. bring on this pedophile's comments. Hooray! Come here. Level uh, two. So, on this one, this is two separate accounts. This is one of his, one of them, the top one is him answering an am I the asshole for thinking my husband was sexualizing our daughter. If you go back to that question, and if you guys aren't familiar with Reddit, it's basically just a lot of spaces where people can ask questions and people will give answers or they can post about something and comment on it. It's like, it's essentially like a water cooler talk. talk. Every time I've posted on Reddit, people tell me to shut up. Like I posted on Bad Roommates and I was like, I need advice. And they're like, somebody said, this isn't a legal advice and I would highly recommend you not talk on Reddit. And I was like, whoa. Okay, so I just leave the whole thing. Weird. Oh, yeah. so that was my advice to do that and it was not a good idea. <laughs> I know. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Um, Wow, interesting. That's exactly what the subreddit's supposed to be about, but hey, whatever. Um, so there's a huge one called Am I the Asshole, which is people writing in saying like, talking about a situation they were th went through. Am I the bad person or is the per other person? A lot of them are fake. And the one that he's responding to, I do believe, is either a troll or, you know, it, it got flagged for spam by Reddit, so it's not a real story. But he essentially, as 
saying to the right, the person who posted the question, "You are the apps, you are the asshole," and is saying to this person, "How dare you question if your husband is sexualizing your daughter?" I don't know what the original uh, post was because it got pulled down for being spam. That nothing, obviously, that's all uh, good and well. Maybe the mom was out of line and there was nothing going on in this post. However, at the end of that comment, it just stood out to me that he writes, all men are not automatically predators and lurking monsters. Jesus fucking Christ, we get enough of that treatment from random Karens out in the world. We don't need it from the people we love and trust whom should love and trust us too. And to that I say, who is we? Who is we? You mean just men? You think men, you think Karens are yelling at you about like, I don't know, there's several men in our room. Are you constantly getting yelled at for being sexual predators on the internet? No. What are you talking about? Because you're nice people. Why would you say we're always getting yelled at about being sexual predators? That's such a weird thing to write on the internet. This came from seven months ago, by the way. Whoa. This had already been at the point where he had been essaying that little girl for years. So he knew. He's a lying sack of shit. And then the other, the other one on that same page is another really weird one. So this is, I actually don't know what TFU stands for. Does anyone know what that is? Today I fucked up. Oh, today I fucked up. So he's responding to somebody who's talking about them getting in a fight with their girlfriend about him revealing that he had sexually intrusive thoughts, like intrusive thoughts during sex. And so this dude, Stefan who is currently awaiting trial for the worst crimes on earth. Um, first off, he's saying, oh, well, don't, your girlfriend shouldn't be getting advice from TikTok, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then he kind of goes into this second half of it. Is she really going to sit there and act like she's never had a stray thought randomly pop into her head for the entire year you two have been together? Is she the lady Jesus? It's perfectly normal to have all sorts of weird and random or even downright disturbing intrusive thoughts. Our brains are just weird that way. And, oh, Rachel Moxie, thank you for giving us uh, tier one sub. Thank you. I, I wanted to just mention briefly, the, the original post that he's responding to is essentially a young couple saying that, like, he was, he, like, his mind wandered to somebody else while they were having sex, and he brought it up, and it upset the girlfriend. One thing, that's not really an intrusive thought. I think about that all the time. That's more fantasy, or uh, you, ac sure, you accidentally think about somebody, or you, you, your mind goes to somebody else when you're having sex. I don't think generally that would be categorized as an intrusive thought. And it's really fascinating to me that he's conflating those kind of thoughts with intrusive thoughts because he's saying, I always have these downright disturbing intrusive thoughts. And this, he's responding with saying like, you know, we all get downright disturbing intrusive thoughts. Yes, as somebody who has to be medicated for those sort of symptoms intrusive thoughts are different than having fantasies and what he i think is alluding to for himself is having disturbing fantasies that he is thinking about not because when you have intrusive thoughts it generally are they're unwanted and you don't have any desire to act on them you no. you there's something that gets caught in your head on loop it happens with ptsd with ocd like things like that Oh, yeah, like and when I'm on a balcony, I think, like, wouldn't it be crazy if I jumped off? But I'm not masturbating thinking about jumping off of a building. Right. Exactly. I mean, that would be crazy. That would be you kind of a fun once. way to go. <laughs> right. Dr. Hooligan42, thank you for subscribing. Yeah, intrusive thoughts are normal. How about bees? Absolutely. And I think there's maybe we can take from that that he is conflating his his sexual proclivities, his his deviancy and his actions, his uh, sexual assault is are his are in little girls as intrusive thoughts. And that's not the same thing. No. Um at that's all. something like if you start thinking that, you should go check yourself in somewhere, 
go to therapy. There's programs that can help you. Like that's not intrusive thoughts. No, and intrusive thoughts generally are repeated one or like it might it might go over and over one action over and over again, and you want it to go away. Whereas he did prolific, disturbing acts that I think he's considering intrusive thoughts that he's acting on. That's not what that is. Um, but that's just an interesting glimpse into his how his mind is maybe Damn. justifying. The mind it. is so messed up sometimes. It is, but like that, those are not what he did was not as a result of intrusive thoughts. That's just not the case. Oh, I loved um, his next comments about aging. I wanted to. He put, loves older women. <laughs> <laughs> well, he loves. Uh, He's, he's re referencing adult women not liking adult women, All essentially. Right. NRSE -E -E 47 has said that was a very good explanation, Natalie. Oh, thank you very much. Um, I have a little bit of experience with it. <laughs> um, so this last couple I wanted to pull up. So he's responding to an account. I don't know what the original post was because it was deleted, but it's on a... It's on a, it's on a subreddit called XL or XS... Oh, X small girls. Ew! Extra small girls. And I think that is in reference, like, sort of to chesticles. Right. But obviously, if you're on this, it's a little bit also probably fetishy stuff. Like, I think that it's not, it doesn't to me read as a place where it's women coming to women for advice about how their body, you know, to feel, feel comfortable in their bodies. It is a place to be, like, super sexualized. And, that's just my guess. I don't know. Oh, Eleanor Condor Pass 69 says it's petite women. Yeah. Sure, maybe they're on there being like, what bra size do you find for like a, you know, A cup? You know why I think it's more fetishy? Because it says girls. And it's talking about women. Typically, if it's just like talking about like wellness and, and accepting our bodies, it would be like something about something women. Yeah. And not ex small girls because yeah, that girls is girls gone wild yeah that's, that's that's the vibe i'm getting from it right um so his his uh his comment on that was oh sorry yodi vision said it's a porn sub most of them are just advertisements for only fans yeah I okay there we go so he is probably also responding to a bot trying to get him to purchase a video um but it's a i i assume the the question was like my breasts are small. Should I get big ones? Like something like that. And in that voice. And <laughs> he says, stay natural. Nine out of ten men prefer natural. And the others are just lame dipshits whose options shouldn't matter to you anyway. You look perfect. Natural is the sexiest. So he is most likely speaking to a bot. Um, I There's just something about it that, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's creepy. <laughs> Right. Uh, he's talking about he likes he likes uh, stuff being s small. He likes. I would say natural's good. Sure. Do whatever you want though. But I don't think he means it as a body positivity thing. I think he means it as he likes girls. Right. And, underage and, girls. And also, I don't. Again, I don't know if the question was, do guys like big ones or little ones? But he does insert that it should matter. Nine out of ten guys prefer natural, which. He's just making that up anyway. I don't He's know what the statistics up. are. Some on of these that. guys would fuck a plastic bag if it was wet enough. Have your breasts whatever size you want, okay? Yeah. So there's that. And then the second one here is uh, <sighs> Ask Reddit, what is the hardest part of dating after 30? And he writes, find, and by the way, he's about, um, this is from 10 months ago. He's like 37, 38. Finding people to date that haven't spent all their teens and 20s in the sun with minimal sun protection, making them all look like a 70-year-old Clint Eastwood. Plus all the emotional baggage and kids from first marriages or absent fathers. Honestly, dating in after your 30s is a shit show these days. You might end up getting a partner who's going to assault your kids. Oh, no, that's not what you're saying? Oh, <laughs> one begins to understand the DiCaprio strategy. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. See, so, this kind of stuff is like all over X, and you made a great point. You're like, when you read that, it's this guy yeah. who's doing this. So I just was pointing that out. If you ever feel like you're getting attacked by somebody or saying somebody's saying something horrible to you, just remember, it's probably that this guy, like a variation right. of this guy, who's acting as though he can be some sort of begging chooser. Uh, 
No. I saw a post. Meanwhile, it's done by, like, somebody who's anonymous. And they posted a girl who's very obviously underage. And they said, look at this girl. Don't you want to fuck her? Don't you want to? And, like, modern feminists would have you believe that that's wrong. And I was like, yeah, I think most people through history would tell you that that's wrong. You fucking sicko. Yeah. So the the, the DiCaprio strategy comment is um, a little alarming. Uh, no hate to Leo. <laughs> I mean, Leonard Kepper is at least dating girls of age. I honestly could give a shit about him breaking up when they're 25. At least they're like. At least they're not little 18. girls. Yeah, at least they're not um, little girls. Like, this is totally different. You know, this guy had children on his laptop. Yeah, uh, more than that. And, and also, I'm just going to end on this with him. Uh, Uncle Henry Zabrowski is a bad. I look at uh, our big boy secrets for pants reviews. <laughs> I mean. Oh, was that Hitty? No, I don't think so. Do people ever call Henry Zabrowski Henny? Henny? Like, there's always Hennessy? time to start. He doesn't drink Hennessy though. Why don't you just start I'll just it? Let's get him a bottle. Let's get. Let's go. Please, let's do that. <laughs> I don't think that's my husband. It could be. Is that you, honey? Big boy secrets. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Big boy secrets. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah, all these posts want to make me. All these posts make me want to delete the internet. I will say. I'm getting rid of X. I think that taking big breaks from it, uh, the internet, socials in general, is probably good. This guy was a chronic redditor, and he loved to give advice to people. Woo! Did he have so many thoughts? So many thoughts did he have? But it does seem like um, it was too much internet for him. I think maybe he needed a little time out on the internet in general. But uh, I will end with on. A lot of people from his younger years are coming forward talking about experiences that they've had with him, and not all of this is verified yet, but people have sort of um, sussed out a lot of the people who've come forward, talk, like done interviews with like media and who are allegedly talking to police and stuff like that. And so he had a lot of, he's a Florida kid, um, a Lord, a Orlando area, I think, is where he went to high school. and. Um, a guy has come forward who said they were like besties for 10 years and he knows that he was found with CSAM on his computer like 10 years ago in that his mom ha paid, a, paid one of his friends off to keep it a secret. That's so, not truly loving your child. Like, I don't care. If you see them like this, to truly love your child means that you see, get them help. And yeah. sometimes that means they are locked away with a therapist or a, a tin can full of soup. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I like the tin can of soup. I think that sounds nice. <laughs> I always see, like, the, the old prison diets of, like, bread. Bread right. and soup. Where That's all I eat anyway. Do this. Oh, like, bars. Grr, grr. Yeah. Right, right, right. But to truly love your child, it isn't to protect them and to delete it and pay people off. It's, oh, they are a predator. They have to get help. They have to go away. Well... There is a lot of speculation that he and his mother had an unhealthy relationship. And he was taken from her. He became a ward of the state several times as a young teen. No. And he also, and this you can find the court records for this, he, um, at I think at 14 or so, um, he got into a fight with an adult man who I think was wolf, like whistling at his girlfriend, and he stabbed this guy. and like almost killed him with a knife. So he's had problems for a long time. Yeah. Um, wow. So there is some really weird, creepy stuff in the court documents about him as a kid and the way that his mom related to him. And there is speculation not proven by any stretch that maybe she was not, there was not an unhealthy situation. Wasn't a great mom. Wow. Um, perhaps actually an abuser. Damn. And that's probably not a surprise to any of us. Um, looking at these kind of stories, it almost always is a cycle and, Some, and generational. Yeah, somebody said that your brain kind of stops when the abuse started happening. So maybe that's, this is going to sound crazy, maybe that's why he's uh, attracted to kids because he started getting beaten up as a kid. Well, that's not, I mean, I that's just where his brain is. I don't, that's not crazy. I think that's like pretty. I think that's pretty secure and thanks. In the, in Sometimes the study. I think something and I'm like, ooh, if you say it, um, <laughs> ooh, don't you dare. 
<laughs> more snake facts. More snakes. Pink coffee cake. Sometimes they they said that I'm currently taking a break from TikTok and Meta apps. I feel like uh, a tolerance break, too much scrolling is unhealthy. Sometimes I'll scroll on TikTok and then I'll go to sleep and then my brain, I want to keep scrolling. Like, you know how you can envision things? You can see the apple spin in your brain. But I kind of like scroll through thoughts in my brain. And I'm like, oh, that's... That's a spicy no-no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's okay. I mean, that happens, you know? Yeah. Uh, the Weed Wife, personally, I look like a well-loved leather couch. Yes, I agree. I, especially if it's if that's the kind of guy you're keeping away, that sounds like a good, good idea. Yeah. You know? Um, anybody who talks about people like that in general... They they are not fun to be around. Like yeah. that guy's not fun or smart to be around. Like he's talking like, oh, this excess baggage and all this stuff. You are a weirdo who stays up all night on Reddit painting figurines and you are which on its own, you know what? Fine, I don't give a shit. Right. Didn't work. And you are a rapist. <laughs> so right. I always say, like, people, it's the kind of people that say, like, facts don't care about your feelings. Like, they're true predators mm -hmm. because you should look at your feelings. When you're with somebody and you're like, oh, I don't feel very good, that's your body saying you should get away. Probably because they've used a lot of mental hula hoops um, to be a bullshit person. And you're not going to realize it so much later on. You're like, oh, yeah, they kept interrupting me. They kept being negative the whole time. So I say get away if you're just having a bad time. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh, definitely nothing about that guy said to me that the mom really needed to hang out with him, even if she didn't know. Her eyes were so stuff. sad. Her eyes look like nothing's ding dong, <laughs> nothing's going on. Yeah, and I don't want to immediately say that she's complicit, but I just cannot believe she didn't know something was wrong. Over. It was years, years and years yeah. and years of this, this little girl. The girls, like, had to have come to her parents, her mom, and said something. And I don't think if you're otherwise not behaving in that, like, doing those acts in the in-between times, I don't think you're just fun and normal. He definitely was yeah. being weird. He's not taking her to the park and getting ice cream and then being a monster later. <sighs> I, 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 I don't like him. Um, and that's... I'm putting that out that, there. That, I don't like him. He's going to prison for a long time. The mom might as well. We'll see. The She should. I, I actually want to go back. I, I, I don't know if they'll ever actually deal with it, but I want to know what his mother knew because his mother seemed to have known that he was doing that. And also that friend who allegedly was paid off to not report him. Also, I think that's a felony. Like, aren't you supposed to legally report if you learn of it? Yeah. If you learn of CSM and you don't say anything and they can prove it, like, isn't that a crime? Kind of a big deal. I feel like it should be. This gives me the fucking, oh, six, six squirrel says evolution has led people to get the willies around psychopaths because our lizard brain senses a predator. Yeah. You get this creepy heebie-jeebies. So many people I block on X all day, every day. I should also get off that site. I tried to. I'm getting off. And then I'm I did the thing with Natalie in the beginning, and I was like, oh, and then I forgot, and then I got on it again. I'm going to tell everybody how I had to do it. I can't believe that you have to get a two-factor authentication and then put in your password, and then it said no. I feel like I'm in prison right now. Naked comedy. I'm watching from the ER. I hope you're okay. Naked comedy. I hope everything's all right. I hope you're okay. Let's all pray for naked comedy. <laughs> Whoa, that's a uh, oh uh, naked comedy, huh? Used, Woo! Yeah, that used to be a show in New York City where comics would uh, take off all their clothes and do their act. Uh, I don't think you could do that in LA. Maybe you could. I don't know. Probably not. Probably not. I don't think That'd it'd be, be funny out here for sure. They would be like, "Am I hot?" and like not put together a five minute act. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, I would be very, I would definitely be thinking about my angles the whole time. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm going to see if I can delete my Twitter, too. Ooh, right now? Yeah. Hell not? yeah. Uh, that, the, the generational thing made me think of the absolutely nightmarish story uh, of Brittany Wood. Do you guys know her story? Weirdly, there was a series like that went out on Peacock in 2021 it was like a couple hours worth of documentary that was about her family and it has just been wiped from the internet i can't find it anywhere i can't find it pirated it's just the whole thing but the trailer seems to be gone oh. um 
But yeah, I, if you want to pull up the uh, the website of hers, it won't let me delete either. <sighs> I even put in my correct password. This is generational trauma, also, in how much it can just kind of go under the radar. And this this is a woman who disappeared, um, and her disappearance and her uncle's death ended up basically revealing her entire extended family as a part of a huge child trafficking ring. Um, oh my God. And it was almost as if the catalyst for all of it was her disappearing. And it's like, it, you kind of start to question, was it because she was about to tell people? Oh my gosh, like about to be the, um, not the bell whistle, but the, the whistleblower. The whistleblower, yeah. Um, which is another thing that people are really asking about Madeline because she had just turned 13 the day before. Was she... She might have been pregnant. Or was she just getting her bearings and understanding how this wasn't okay and she was about to tell on him? Or was it an accident? Um, as in, he was abusing her but didn't mean to actually... And her life, you know, we have all these questions, and this has never been solved uh, either. Brittany, Brittany Woods' case, although she was uh, a young adult at the time, but 11 people in her family uh, were arrested on sex abuse charges after she disappeared. And, well, it was family and friends, but I mean, this is like, this isn't just they had CSM on. Their computers that they were producing it and also assaulting all of the women in the family oh my god i bet they like sold it to a lot of people and i bet a lot of people were like this is going to sound disgusting giving them money and that's probably how they supported their family and well, that's why they just didn't stop it, it's it's not out of, out of the realm that that was happening also with old stefan here um and also as we brought up last week Right after he was arrested and they found all of the files, a father and son were also raided and arrested, like right down the road from where they lived and right, right down the road from where poor little Madeline's body was found eventually. Um, and so if the questions are, are, is that a bigger ring? Was is that a connection? Yeah, because they had those two men. Another part of that whole story, there, were, there was the father and son, we brought them up last week, who lived really close to... Madeline Soto and S Stefan Stearns, and um, they had been staked out for a while by the FBI, but the FBI didn't tell anyone in the in the neighborhood. So they had a lot of suspicion or a lot of um, reason to believe that they had and were producing CSAM, the, the father and grandfather of this, this little girl um, who lived near Madeline. And there were children all over the neighborhood. The, the, Grandfather in that situation was known as Santa, and he dressed like Santa and hung out with little kids in the neighborhood. And the the feds didn't tell the neighborhood until what? the arrest happened. And they knew the feds had a lot of suspicion. They were staking them out for a while. Do you think they didn't want to tell the family because they wanted to gather more evidence? And they were like, "Oh, we can't blow the cover." But then I guess these new kids get thrown in the gutter too. I think that maybe they didn't want to tell the others so that the that the father and or the father and grandfather were would be tipped off. They were I think maybe they were worried that they would find out. They would run. However, they were still interacting with the children in the neighborhood during that stakeout the whole time. Like whatever. It, if you would have told something like that to my dad that there's a Santa coming around molesting kids, he would have beaten him with a hammer. I mean, that's maybe why the feds didn't tell the neighborhood, but still, like there were kids going to their house and stuff. Whatever. In that case, it, then it's a question of did, was Stephen, Stefan, whatever, was he distributing? Was he making money off of it too? Which is quite possible because he, he didn't seem to work except he worked for like a year at Disneyland, which is, or oh Disney God. World, I mean. And this is like a small town in Florida. Like this isn't even. It's Kissimmee, yeah. Bigger. I mean, Kissimmee is, you know, it's a nice, it's a big place, but it's not like New York City. You know, when people think of like child trafficking rings, they think of like underground bunkers in Hollywood. Oh, those pedophiles. But this is like a town in Florida. Unfortunately, it's much more common. Well, the obviously rich people do it too, but it, it's common in, in poverty stricken areas. Right. Um, when people don't have any money and uh, they do this.
They not to don't. make it an excuse for it. No, but. I'm sure they don't even realize it. They're just like, oh, I get 50 bucks if I, I sell think they my daughter. realize it. No, I think they realize it. Damn. No, I think they do. Um, yeah, because this also, the, uh, where was the Britney's story? I forget where hers was, but it was also somewhere that was just like super poverty stricken. Um, we're almost out of time. Let's not end on that story. I have a funny video. What I, about the other thing you were going to bring up? Oh, I'll say this for like two minutes, then we'll show the video. But there's a pill, the birth control pill. It's going to come legal, and you can order it through the mail, and it's going to come in un, in an undescript box, and there's no age range. So you could be a 10, 12-year-old girl who is having problems with the family, like in the situation, and then you can just somehow get it to your house, order it. I don't um, want, you know, I don't think that that's the ultimate solution, but I'm I... I'm sorry, I know that's a horrible... No, no, I... Can I take that back? No, 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 you're Can correct. Can I take it away, what I said? No, I do think you're correct that in certain situations, it'd be really good to be able to access that. Okay. However, let's also save the kids. Let's save the kids. I'll just read it. We don't have to show the video. Uh, today's approval marks the first time a non-prescription daily oral contraceptive will be available option for millions of people in the United States, says Patricia Cavazzoni, MD director of the FDA Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. When used as directed, oral daily oral contraception is safe and expected to be more effective than currently available non-prescription contraceptive methods in preventing unintended pregnancy. It's FDA approved. It's called OPILL. Go look it up. You can get it delivered to you ASAP. And it's FDA approved. You don't have to go to a gynecologist to get it. I mean, I do think that's really good. I'm, I'm happy about it. This is what we get in far leftist Joe Biden's America. I guess you can just take a pill that doesn't have an unwanted pregnancy. You just have to take it around the same time every day. And I've been looking at a lot of doctors and they said, yeah, you know, just take it around a three hour window. And, you know, there there, there's so many instances where uh, in other countries they're working on birth control for guys to take, but not here. Maybe if we mix it into some pre-workout. Right. There's a lot. <laughs> Right, mix it into some uh, Red Bull energy drinks. Sell it with video games. Sell it for like Halo 3. Be like, we know you play this every day at the same time. Just take this pill. It's on <laughs> the back of the box. Just take it. Right. You'll get like an extra skin or whatever. Oh, I did want to say before we go to the video, it's so weird that a lot of Republicans are like, no, we're not trying to take away birth control when they are. Um, let's see. In 2022, um, Majorie Taylor Green voted against the Right to Contraceptive Act, along with 195 of her GOP colleagues. Only eight Republicans supported the bill. Five are no longer in office. And I'm guessing they're no longer there because they supported the bill Probably. of the right to contraception. Uh, but we don't want to end on that either. Well, I have a funny video. Yeah. It's going to lighten your day. Let's do the lady. The fun lady. Are you struggling through your work week? This might be just what you need. Why does that town look like it's AI? I know, or like some, <laughs> looks like it's made up, but that was just what I needed, you know? Thank you. What was that? I don't know, it was some lady on TikTok who's like, if you were looking for, if you were feeling down, this will help you lift you up your mood. That was, that had to be somebody from a tiny European country, right? It was like, look like a tiny, you're like Estonia or something. I don't know. I'm sure people from Estonia are like, actually, we're pretty big, but I don't know. I don't yeah, know how the world way works. to go. <laughs> Insulting Estonia again. <laughs> um, I liked her jaunty hat. And very I, jaunty. I love that she was being very positive, and I think that's how we should end on exactly. this show. There's always a covered wooden bridge to dance across. To be free is to be cringe. Right? It's so true. Who gives a shit? Who fucking gives a shit? <laughs> Thanks, guys. I love you. Thank you for the subs. Oh, thank you for the subs. Uh, I don't have them in front of me. Sorry. I know you're there. Yeah. Thank you so much for the subs, though. She was rocking oh, it. Dr. Hooligan42, Rachel Moxie. Oh, there it is. Oh, I found it. The Weed Wife, Tess Ursabet. 
Hillary Satan. Hillary Satan. Goods Thorn 1, Rachel Moxie, Dr. Underscore Hooligan 42. Thank you, guys. Uh, horrible and great. Just what I needed. It's just what I shoot those dogs in the head. Yeah, because they found the bunny rabbit. No, and let them live. Did you know the bunny rabbit's fake? Oh, that's cute. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>